Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Well, a little while ago I presented you a 9-inch nail shooter. It can shoot these nails. So, of course, every rifle needs a pistol version too. So I thought, can I make a pump repeating slingshot gun that shoots 3-inch nails? So this is what I came up with. It's made from uh, airplane grade uh, multiplex plywood. So it's very thin. It has a magazine for a total of five of the bolts, three inch nails. So this is the magazine. As I said, it fits five of the nails. And the lowest one is held in place by a magnet. So it can't fall out when you point the gun downwards. And loading is really, really easy. So just close the leather flap. So this is a repeating gun. It's a pump action. It's probably the smallest pump action gun I've ever made. What you do is you take your fingers, you push back the slide until the sear catches, and then the weapon is ready for the shot. So this is our little styrofoam head opponent. You simply point, shoot, rack, shoot. All five shots. This is very dense styrofoam. It's kind of hard to pull my bolts out. So in comparison, we're going to shoot with the big brother. In further comparison, you remember the Stinkmaster 2000 for shooting stink bombs? Well, I've uh, doubled up the rubber and made a mean arrow for it. It's wood and steel. And uh, now you have to cock it like this. And it's a muzzle loader now, but it's frighteningly powerful. And because the arrow is front heavy, it will fly straight for a long, long, long time. I also want to show you something that I've made a long, long time ago for a TV uh, channel. And it's actually a shooter that shoots saw blades, circular saw blades, but without an axis, just the disc. And it works the same way that a pigeon thrower for clay pigeons um, shoots. This means there is a big spring and you can cock this lever until it catches, and then you can insert the saw blade. It's held in place by a magnet and a little guiding piece here. And then you can shoot it just like you would shoot a gun, like this. So you see that the kind of barrel is canted, and that's because I figured out that if you shoot it straight, it starts to uh, just move to the lower left very quickly because of the spinning motion and this isn't frisbee shaped, it's just a plain disc. So by canting the angle downwards I can get very good accuracy for a thrower like that. This of course is in no way a sniper rifle. So as you saw it rotates and while it rotates it cuts the slash into here and you see I've practiced this before. So, I think these are two fun new weapons that I have. Specifically, the mini pump action gun and the rotational saw blade shooter. Also, I want to give a shout out to Failure to Fire Comics. They actually made a comic about me, can you believe? 
I found it really hilarious. Here's the link. Also, a fellow YouTuber made a parody about me. I've been laughing a lot about this. <laughs> Well, that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Thanks and bye-bye.